for cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure to head on over to my sponsor, buymaddencoins.com. They got quick delivery, 24-7 support, and make sure to use code POOL at checkout for 20% off and an extra 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. Today, we got the Series 7 update. So, I did my prediction video yesterday and kind of went over what I thought we would be seeing from the Series 7 update, and I was honestly pretty spot on. Not that it's that impressive because, like, if, if you know how this game works, it would be too hard to kind of decide or guess what tomorrow will be about. But it was pretty cool that, for the most part, if you guys listen to me, you probably knew what to expect if you guys watched. So, first things first, guys, if you're new here, drop a sub for me. Let's keep getting our count up, start building our fan base up until Madden 20. Also, you guys smashed the like button again for me yesterday. Not a lot, but it's a lot for me right now. So if you guys can hit 25 likes again, that'd be awesome. You guys actually hit 50 the day before that too, so even 50 would be even better. But that's about it. Drop a comment down below if you want to talk, if you want to chill. Hit me up on Twitter if you need some help with anything. You know, kind of how we've been doing things for a while. Always answer everyone. So that's about it, guys. Let's get into the video. So first things first, let's see. Let's look at the new objectives. See what we see now. Loyalty is obviously still there. The team captain's been there. The Series 7 multiplayer. So this one, as per usual, is 100k to finish all of them. And you just get a ton of Series trophies. So this isn't anything out of the ordinary, but that's obviously updated for Series 7. And then, I can't see the new level rewards as far as this, because I'm still in like an older level bracket. But I understand that from what I saw, it was there's some packs. And the best thing is that there's a 99 overall power pass at level 99. So that's pretty awesome. You guys can literally get, I'll show you a few players you probably get for free, just so you guys understand what I mean by that, if you guys understand how level um, power passes work. You can literally get any gold 99 in the game that has a power up train. So, let's get to these 99s. There will be, you can get Terrell Davis for free. Kyler Murray he doesn't have a power up sadly, so you can't get him for free. You could get Terrell Owens for free. You can get Ed Reed for free, Keyshawn Johnson for free, Tom Brady for free, Terrell Owens, we already went over him. J.J. Watt for free, <clears throat> Chris Harris for free, Ronnie Law for free, Dan Marino for free, Rod Woodson for free, Randy Moss for free, Brian Dawkins for free, nope, it's not yet, Cam Newton for free, you can get Antonio Brown for free, Odell Beckham Jr. for free, Miles Garrett for free, Jeremy Shockey and Casey Hayward, but Casey Hayward is another part of this, just look at his stats now so you guys understand, he's got a 94 speed, 94 excel, 93 agility, 89 jumping, 99 play rec, 99 man, 98 zone, 99 press, so, I don't care about the speed because once you, if I power up this card, it'll be a 95. And then with Sprinter and John Madden, it'll be like a 98 speed, 99 speed. So that's this card right here. So you can have like maxed out <clears throat> pass protection. The only thing that matters is his jump, and that kind of bothers me. But as you guys can see, this is the new series play. Remember yesterday I said there's going to be two new 99s probably. And they're, gonna, oh, they're both going to be usable, and I recommend getting them. Well, this is it. So let me show you guys <clears throat> the two 99s. If you head over to sets, go over to series 7. So it's going to be Casey Hayward, and it's only going to be 58 trophies. Like I said, it was in between somewhere between 40 and 50. It's about 58. It went up a little bit. That's really awesome, honestly. Casey Hayward, if you look at his stats, you can almost get 99 speed, all 99 pass, uh, pass coverage stats across the board. Great catching. The only issue on him is his jumping. It's slightly low for a cornerback that I like to say. But he's still locked down for literally just trophies that you guys probably don't even care for anymore at this point of the year. There is a, a John Madden collectible, which people are wondering if it will be the final because they're saying this is the last series update. So, I don't know if there's going to be more, but there should be more, because if you look at the John Madden card, it does tell you that there's going to be more. It's a little contradicting. Would I touch these sets right here? Nope. 97 overall right now. Goes for no more than 120k. I'd rather use that 50 and get a 99 overall for free. If you know what I'm saying. Now, there's another 99 overall. And I definitely get that Hayward out of the way, guys. I'm thinking about it. If I get some trophies, I'll probably get it. Just because, you can never go wrong with a 99 corner in a team. For literally just playing the game now there's another one here if you go over to solo challenges there is in fact a new journey like i said there will probably be wow i never thought i'd see the day where i couldn't go into another solo challenge level 90 required wow all right boys i hope you've been playing you know why this sucks <coughs> excuse my voice you know why this sucks that they're doing this because typically players who would need and want a jarvis Landry right now would probably want him like right now and it'd probably be on a, on a like a, a team that's not as good a team that a team that wants this car right now is a lower team right now i could really use jarvis landry but instead they're only gonna let people 90 who have or it's required 90 they're only gonna let people with 90 overall teams 90 level teams i'm sorry 
do it. And that kind of sucks because a lot of teams like me and those teams that are even close to this or even above this probably have God Squad, so they won't even care for the Jarvis. So it kind of counter, it's kind of kind of productive. I was gonna show you guys the rewards, but obviously I can't. But the 90 overall 99 Jarvis is probably pretty cool. Powered up, he should be the typical receiver. Honestly, that'd be cool to have him, Odell, and a whole squad like that together. Oh, for a brown steam team, that'd be awesome too. So that's it for the journey. So there's the Jarvis, and there is the Casey Hayward. Now, also, there's going to be, like I said, there's the rewards. I would not be grinding out those rewards. I honestly could care less to level up at this point in the year. If you can get to it, that's pretty awesome. There's going to be, I know there's still two power passes that I, maybe I might be out on three power passes at this point. And there is a, um, oh my God, I'm blanking. There's a three power passes. There is a 99 overall power pass, obviously. I have a bunch of packs still that I can get, as you can see right here. I have the full Ultimate Legend player. There's the other power pass. I know there's more objectives that I can't see right now, but obviously, as per usual. Maybe, I wonder if the um, the quick sell and the coins update. Let me know down below if you guys are there, if the quick sell and the coins daily update as you get up there. You know, it's a shame that I never got to finish my Shazier. The game died right before that. I was definitely getting close to it. On top of that, I never finished this one either. I was definitely getting close to this one also. It's a shame, guys. I wish the longevity of this game could have continued. I really wish it would have. The Series 7 update is kind of a nice new influx back into Madden. It is a nice... It's like, like it's a new sense of content right now. It gives, it gives people something to do. I know people are staying up tonight. Like, I know Xerxy and It's Dom and those guys in Texas. And a few other YouTubers who stay up all night. And they chill and they, they do all these... They do this level grinding for the channel. Honestly, that's, that's, that's honestly really cool, but I cannot bring myself. At least in Madden 20, trust me, I will be destroying the levels. I'll be grinding it through, but right now, there's no there's no hope for this game right now for me. As far as, why do I want to level up? You know, I got a God Squad. What do I need to go get more XP and go get more levels to do? You know what I'm saying? It'd be counterproductive. There's no reason to grind. I love it when there is a reason to grind, but nothing I can do right now is going to improve my team dramatically. Anything I do is preference, and that's partly the fault of Madden's this year, where they literally made it so any player could be a 99 overall with amazing they could make any player with a 99 speed and overall without even being that earlier in the year so pretty much it made now the 99 overalls are coming out they're useful they're useless it's just preference do i really want to get rid of my 99 michael vick for another 99 michael vick same overall doesn't affect my team overall it just goes up in speed by one do i want to get rid of my 99 randy moss for a 99 randy moss doesn't make sense to me they both have 99 speed they're both maxed out it's just it's very it's pretty much biased here like and what should i say preference like do you want to just say you have the best version card of him although the lower card my, my ghost card still literally the exact same thing it makes it very tough right now at this point in the year to want to improve the team but i hope you guys enjoy this series 7 update i hope you guys find something out of it i hope you guys are level 9 you can get that jarvis landry i want to go check his stats but i don't know where to exactly check that it might be on mudhead so i'll probably check that after this video and that um casey hayward's probably awesome probably gonna play awesome the only issue with casey hayward is his jumping which for an 89 is pretty low it means he's not gonna be getting like any insane picks but he definitely can stay in coverage a lot but i feel like jumping so important if you gave me three stats that i'd want in a card probably speed jumping and zone those three stats i want to be happy with i wouldn't care for any other stats now that's literally Dion. That's all I care about on Dion. Now press kind of sucks. That Dion doesn't have press because that really that really limits you on what you can do. You can't jam. If you get if you get even close to receiver, it's a touchdown because they will they will just shed right off of you and they will get in. They'll, they'll break for ten yards after that and it's pretty much over after that. So press is very important, but that's just but you can avoid not pressing very simply. But that's about it, guys, for this video. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content. I'm trying my best to get everything out daily. Obviously, daily is not an issue for me. Daily is very easy to do. I'm trying my best to get out multiple videos a day, but after this, there's not much to say after Series 7. I mean, what else is in Madden for the day? But at least I'm still dropping something so I can keep on top of what is going on in this game right now. So, if you guys have been enjoying, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys are st For all you guys still around, I just want to say I appreciate you guys. I truthfully appreciate all the subs and all the new guys. Who are coming through to watch my videos daily you guys are the real ones i really appreciate it it's what keeps me going every single day to keep grinding out videos also i hope you guys are around man 20 i cannot wait for man 20 and when you guys are around you guys are not gonna you're not gonna regret staying sub for come man 20 I have a lot of big things planned i have everything in order the setup the everything i want the plan the vision for everything i just need the game to physically be here and then we're gonna go off i'm planning for like four videos a day come man 20 i'm going to literally grind all day it's gonna be a good year for my channel 
my first real Madden year of the channel, in my opinion, because I never got to have the start of a game. So that's going to be awesome, guys. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying. Appreciate all of you. I'm out. See you guys in the next video.